this demonstration, you will learn how to use the Sourcing Activity Dashboard to monitor sourcing events. The Sourcing Activity Dashboard displays information about RFX activity and auction activity, as well as providing high-level reporting on purchasers in your organization. To access the Sourcing Activity Dashboard, choose Reports, then Enterprise Sourcing. You'll find the Sourcing Activity Dashboard underneath the RFX channel. The Sourcing Activity Dashboard includes product category and business unit filters, which can be applied to all the data displayed through the dashboard. You'll also notice that the dashboard is separated between RFX activity, auction activity, and purchaser overview. Let's review each item in turn, starting with RFX activity. The first two graphs underneath the RFX Activity tab shows phase status for the RFXs to which you have access. The graph on the left shows a summary of the RFX phases up to a particular end date. You can use this graph to gain an understanding of what percentage of RFXs fall under a given phase. For example, what percentage of RFXs are open, closed, or awarded. The graph on the right breaks down the RFXs by month giving you insight as to how many RFXs were opened, closed, or awarded for a given month. Sourcing efficiency by RFX phase and days shows you metrics on RFX phases. For example, you can use this graph to see what the average number of days were for RFXs in a given phase, such as created, opened, or closed. The RFX estimated value and savings by month graph displays the overall value and savings of RFXs for a given month. Now let's look at the Auction Activity tab. In Auction Status Summary as of end date, you can see what percentage of your auctions are at the opened, closed, or canceled status. To see a more detailed report of these auctions, choose the Detail Report link. Auction status by month shows you, for a given month, the number of auctions opened, closed, or canceled. Sourcing efficiency by auction status in days shows you metrics about your auctions, such as the average number of days your auctions were open. Auction estimated value and savings by month displays for a given month the estimated value and savings of all the auctions that were awarded in that month. From Purchaser Overview, you can see the number of events and value of those events by the top 10 purchasers in your organization. You can also see metrics about a particular purchaser, such as average event time, number of closed events, and total savings by that purchaser. Finally, you can bookmark the Sourcing Activity Dashboard. Bookmarking Reports places them under the Favorites link. You have just seen how to use the Sourcing Activity Dashboard to monitor sourcing events. With the Sourcing Activity Dashboard, you can monitor RFX activity to see the status of RFXs, you can monitor auction activity to see how much you've saved through your auctions, and you can see metrics about purchasers, such as total savings.